Hi, I'm Eric Odie. Welcome to the Poetry Workshop. I'm glad you're here. Maybe you are someone who likes to play with words. Maybe you are someone who likes to describe the things you see and the things you think about in, in new ways. Or maybe you like to uh, surprise yourself by making new connections, new comparisons. Well, if that's you, then you, you are a poet and you are in the right place. Now, here's how I'd like to get things started today. Earlier this week, I was on a, a hike with my, my wife and my son. We found something kind of surprising, and so uh, I shot a little video. Here, take a look at what we saw. All three of them. Are <laughs> right You're at my foot here. Hold on. <laughs> Where did he go? Double back. So I showed that little video to some friends online and I asked them to think about uh, those snakes and the way they were moving and what they thought maybe those snakes were up to, why they were out and about. And, uh, and let me tell you some of the, the thoughts that they were sharing and then we'll see if we can't put some of these to use in a good poem. So, uh, Ren mentioned uh, he thought the snakes are out today to play hide and seek. That's a nice thought. And he used words like slithery and quickly. And Patton used words like jumpy and sneaky. Colin said uh, he thought they were out finding a shelter and he used words like wiggly and sly. Um, Shelby said they're trying to migrate to a new location and, and she used words like satisfying, slithering, and kind of confusing. And she asked the question, how do they achieve that movement? It's a real different movement, isn't it? And then Coralie said that they're looking for a snack and used words like squiggly and mysterious. And Gregory said that they were trying to keep cool and used words like squirm and slide. Uh, Mariana said they are out because it's going to be warm today. It is spring and they are hunting. And uh, she used words like smooth, speedy, and graceful. And Sienna said they are sunbathing and she used the word slender. And Chris said intertwining, carefully, and sudden. Anthony said skinny, fast, and that they are looking for food. And Braden said they're out looking for a home and used words, um, oh, he said they were wiggling their bodies. And then Lily used words like weaving and focused. So those are some of the contributions that, that I gathered for us to use today. And I should mention that one of the things I did on my papers, I grouped some of these together. I grouped some of the active words like, like jumpy and wiggly and some of the describing words like slender. And, uh, and I put those together on my paper and then I have some of the other things grouped together in ways that I thought might be helpful but let's get busy. I have my whiteboard with me and we should grab a whiteboard marker. Let's try green today. And, uh, and how should we get started here? Um, I, I liked, you know what, there was a first line here um, that said, uh, the snakes are out today to play hide and seek, which I thought was a really fun line. I especially just like the way it started. The snakes are out today. I thought that was a fun way to get started and maybe we could actually start exactly with that line the snakes the snakes are out let's just try that much so we'll say the snakes are out and i think today would be a really good day to write a really tightly rhyming poem now so far we haven't been doing rhyming poems we've used a little rhyme but we haven't really been doing a tightly rhyming tightly metered poem and I think today is a good day for that. So we have the snakes are out and we could do a couple of things with this. Oh, well, I think I want to repeat that. Let's try this. We're going to do a little repetition. We're going to say the snakes are out. The snakes are out. Now that's called repetition and, and it's not a lazy thing to do. It's a very powerful thing to do. It's the kind of thing we might want to do if we want to really reinforce what we're talking about. And, and if you notice, by the way, we were going to talk about, about rhythm and meter. And there is a meter to these lines. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. 
And it, it's very much a two count. Do you hear it? The snakes are out. The snakes are out. One, two, one. It's a da dum ba bum ba bum like these wood whose woods these are. I think I know. Or or that Sam I am. That Sam I am is done in two beats. So we can see if we can stick with that. These the snakes are out. The snakes are out. And we need a good rhyme for out. And there's words like uh, let's see. There's there's uh, about. There's um, shout. Let's put a couple of words up here just to think about. Let's see. So we have got words like shout, um, about. Uh, what else do we want to? We have clout, doubt would be another good one. I'm going to put the word doubt up here. And maybe we could use one of those. How about, uh, well, we had so many good uh, describing words for uh, how they move. Let's see. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. They. Um, how about they, they, uh, they slide and slither. How about that? They, they slide and slither all about. Now that's one thought. We could have done this differently. We're just making decisions, thinking about what make, what might work for our poem. But so far, I like this. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. They slide and slither all about. And we're still keeping with that nice two-beat kind of a meter. That feels pretty good. Um, and, and a lot of my, my helpers were coming up with possible reasons why they were out. Let's see. How about, um, oh, let's see. Let's, let's write down some possibilities. We'll say, uh, how about perhaps there... Whoops, perhaps they're looking for um, for a home. That was somebody somebody asked about that or for a snack. Um, let's try a snack. Perhaps they're looking for a snack. Um, what else? Uh, what's a good word that would rhyme with snack? Uh, we could say we have words like back. Right? We could use, uh, I'm going to leave those up there just in case we want to use them again later. We could use words like back or like they're moving front and back or um, uh, attack is a good word or, or slack or um, what else? Uh, knack is a good word. Perhaps they're looking for a snack. Oh, okay. So let's, let's use attack. How about, uh, perhaps they're looking for a snack, perhaps a, uh, oh, what would they like to attack? Uh, it could be a, a, a mouse or a, a frog. This was kind of a marshy area. Perhaps a frog uh, to attack. We could try that. Um, Let's read what we have so far. So now we have the snakes are out, the snakes are out, they slide and slither all about. Perhaps they're looking for a snack, perhaps a frog to attack. Oh, um, what else is... Let's go, um, you know what, it was so much fun to have, um, to have these lines. I want to use these lines again at the very end. Let's save some room. I think maybe... Maybe we'll get in a couple more lines here. How about, uh, oh, let's see. Perhaps they're, let's see, they're looking uh, for a home. A home might be a tough word to rhyme. Let's see, perhaps they're looking for a home uh, Rome works. Um, well, let's do this. I'll tell you what. Let's keep home here and let's work backwards. Um, and, and some of these great words they have. Let's try. Um, we used they slide and slither. How about, let's see, we had a squirm, for example. I'm going to move way down here. We had um, squirm. The uh, Let's try, we watch 
them. Um, did we slide up there? How about we watch them um, uh, squiggle? We watch them. Oh, maybe I better put this over here. It will scan better. They, we watch them squiggle, wriggle, roam. And then let's do this because I don't like the way, I already know that I don't really like the way this came second. What if we swap these around? What if we say perhaps a frog uh, to attack and then let's swap these around. Watch this. We're going to take this and this, and we're going to swap them. So now, instead of saying perhaps they're looking for a home, we watch them squiggle, wriggle, roam. What if we turn those around and we say, we watch them squiggle, wriggle, roam. Perhaps they're looking for a home. I like that. I like that. Um, Oh, let's see. And then I want to use these lines again at the end. Wriggle roam. Um, let's try. Maybe do you want to use doubt or shout or um, let's use let's use doubt. And oh, let's go back to the green pen because I was using green before. And we'll see. But here. They are without a doubt. And then let's figure again with the snakes are out. I ran out of room, so I'm going to put it here. The snakes are out. Oh, let's see how this looks. We're going to go all the way back to the beginning. I'm going to get rid of this because it's kind of in our way. Let's erase this so we don't have to think about it. Here we go from the top. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. They slide and slither all about. Perhaps they're looking for a snack. Perhaps a frog to... I, there is a beat missing here. Perhaps a frog... They... Oh, let's like let's try. They will attack. Perhaps a frog. They will attack. That's not that's not great, but maybe it's better. Okay, once more, let's go back to the beginning. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. They slide and slither all about. Perhaps they're looking for a snack. Perhaps a frog. They will attack. We watch them squiggle, wriggle, roam. Perhaps they're looking for a home, but here they are without a doubt. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. What do you think? We need a title, right? And I think is the title, yeah, the title is The Snakes Are Out. That only makes sense. So we'll say The Snakes Are Out. There's our title. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to, uh, I'll type this up. I'll make it look really good. And then I'm going to throw it up on the screen and we can see how it looks when it's all typed up and looking nice together. And, uh, and let's see how, how that feels. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. They slide and slither all about. Perhaps they're looking for a snack. Perhaps a frog they will attack. We watch them squiggle, wriggle, roam. Perhaps they're looking for a home. But here they are without a doubt. The snakes are out. The snakes are out. By the way, I should mention that I live out here in western Washington and we do not have any dangerous venomous snakes in this area. So because of that, I didn't have to worry about those snakes getting so close to my feet. All right, maybe wherever you are, maybe you do, maybe you have to be more careful around your snakes. I don't have to out here. Okay, let's get back in touch soon. I hope you're well. Keep your eyes open for good poetry ideas.